Hello, my name is Mensum Kanta, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a sort of an update per se, uh, but it's based on uh, the things that I've been uh, keeping up with. And I'm sure you guys have noticed that I've been like, I literally like took a month, month off of YouTube. And basically what I've been doing over the past month is I've been uh, teaching, I've been lecturing, and recently, I have been uh, given the opportunity to do an exchange program, right? And in this exchange program, I, first of all, I just want to send a shout out to Catherine Churchill and the Pathways team. You guys know who you are uh, because I'm just going to say names. And then if I, if I forget one person, it's going to be a fight. So <laughs> I just, I just, I just want to keep myself in the clear in terms of that. So, um, the whole premise of, of this video is just to for me to share what I've what I've learned uh, uh, in this uh, collaboration per se or participating in this project, right? And in my in my participation in this project, I was basically someone who's on the ground, uh, which is in uh, which is in South Africa, and I was like collecting information and collecting data for this uh, wonderful uh, organization, which is a university. And I've learned like a lot in terms of data collection, in terms of how to put information together and how to articulate that information together. And as a graphic designer, I wanted to step out of that box and try different other things. And hence why I commend the Pathways team uh, for bringing all of these wonderful ideas together and for me to being a part of it as a designer, I really, really feel honored. So the project was basically about uh, sustainable communities and my task was to present an idea as to how sustainable businesses can articulate themselves in a sustainable community, right? Uh, there were also a range of, 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 of other topics um, which... I, I don't remember because I was just focused on like the whole uh, uh, business sector. And in my experience as a designer, I realized that everything also like it just comes together somewhere, somehow. And I've, I've just been I've just been like so excited to 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 share this with you. I was just waiting for the right time, but I just feel like this is definitely the right time to share this information. And this um. A project was was um, articulated or was presented by uh, or the case study was presented by Tampere University, which is in Finland. So yeah, I'm 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 pleased to say that I've I'm I'm now an international lecturer. You know because I also played a part into um, um, a research and also telling people about the community of Matafeni, Matafeni, which is in uh, Nasbate, South Africa. So um, we realized that there's a lot of problems within that community, uh, specifically after the 2010 FIFA World Cup, where people were promised opportunities and jobs. And then what you find in, in that community is that there's also a lot of farms uh, around that community. And basically, uh, every fourth or fifth house or second house has a business that is being run from home right so my job was to basically take that information and present it or pre presented in order for us to find solution so what you guys are going to be seeing in this video is basically how my idea was presented before we actually went into solution mode okay so um with with um coming to the township economy i just looked at this in in this perspective i call this the full circle economy where we look at small businesses uh basically what you have drawn up mika from the bottom up and try and try to see if we can actually make a, a full scale e economy out of the Mat matafeni um, um, community so i think the first thing that my psychologist uh, julia would also agree with is that um there, there are certain basic needs that people need which is um, food, water, and warmth, and safety, and then so and so forth. It goes up out out of the hierarchy of needs. But what we find here in Matafeni is that, in in some form or shape, the way that it's structured, that people need more, more like basic needs, right? Instead of uh, a psychological or self fulfillment needs. So in the context that I want to bring, I want to bring like a a mindset to the community and say to them that look. All of the resources, all of the resources and the and, and the infrastructures that you have, are there. 
but it's just a matter of how do you articulate them in such a formal sense or, or way. So how do we do that is that we have to identify individuals within the Matafeni community, right? And then we have to create platforms. And then out of that platform, it, it, it creates tribes. And then out of the tribes, it creates influence. How this will work is that an, an, an individual sets up a business, right? And then in that business creates a platform for other businesses like a social market and, and another thing, right? And then in that, you have business tribes where people come and connect together, and then influencers is basically someone who goes and sells the community outside of the community, like going to town and says that, look, Matafeni is a fantastic, fantastic place. And essentially, they become the influencers of the place, which also leads us to a certain level of collaborations. So we need to focus on business collaborations, how people connect with one another within the community in itself. As you know, I'm a fan of Oreos, so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna take an Oreo break. <laughs> so after the Oreo break, <laughs> after the Oreo break, we have to now look at uh, the community economy, uh, which I'd like to call like a certain level of sparks or what I like to call business waterholes. And some of the questions that we need to ask ourselves is, um, what are the people? spending most most their money on or most of their time within the community and where can we identify the traffic within that community what business are they most interacting with within that specific uh, community in that waterhole you find businesses like car wash so in in hindsight it creates like a certain level of ripple effect so this is where number one social gatherings happen number two business transactions happening and number three business development and of which i've previously mentioned collaborations and then this leads to things like business growth and and having their own social market which also boosts the community or the community economy in its essence and then you have things like um the spaza shop which is w which is where people sell fruits and veggies and and basically edible commodities or tangible commodities for that matter so this is where we need to identify that the food also comes into a specific area within the community of matafeni and in hindsight it also builds up the community because people meet there all the time and then here you can also embark on export and import of goods which now creates um, sustainable food and community building but also we need to also take into consideration that there are two farms also within the community of matafeni so in hindsight the farms will also produce the food for the community and then the last thing that i want to look at i want to take a look at tourism so this is basically now the economy is running and people are being sustained uh, 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 by by what they have already produced, right? So we also have this this novel um, 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 landmark, which is the, the which is the Mobile Stadium. So this landmark, in hindsight, brings already people to the community. So with this landmark, we need to capitalize it in such a sense that we 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 encourage Kasi tourism. Uh, which is basically people driving within the community and experiencing what the community is like. And then number two, once again, we have to look at business growth because once again, people are coming within within the community of, of, of Matafeni. And once you encourage Kasi tourism and business growth, I feel like the, the, the government or the international investment now starts to happen and starts to engage. And then here we have a, 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 a solid structure of of infrastructure improvement or or, or or development within the community of matafeni and yeah that was that was it from my side